HGTV at its finest. This is road life. Dude, if you get shot, it's your own bad. Well, right. I did it all for DJTV, I guess. All right. Those morons. Here we go. How you doing, man? Yeah. Nothing. We're just next door. We were hanging out with these guys at the bar. I was at the bar. Oh, yeah. we're the band. Scary. What's up, guys? Oh. <laughs> oh, good. 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 What's up, buddy? Welcome to the pub. My, my, my buddy has a, my buddy has a TV show, and so I'm actually filming a little bit of this for the TV show. Music back on. It's a small TV show. It's called DJ TV. TV. It's Rick Monroe. I'm going to tell you about this video that's coming up. It's called Midnight Rider. Um, okay, a little bit of a backstory on it. Most of the footage was shot in Germany when we were on tour. Um, CMT said that they wouldn't actually put anything but film, filmed videos, like, you know, like actual, like, 8mm, 35mm, but we shot the whole thing on handheld digital stuff. So it was one of the first digital videos that they put on. That's one. Two, there's a scene in there where the, the guitar player actually was, um, well, giving back to the earth what he was given <laughs> after a night of drinking. Um, see if you can figure that out. See where that scene is. Big Red. So, that's the Midnight Rider video. Said I'm not gonna let them catch me, no Not gonna catch me 
Fires Out video. How do I explain this one? Honestly, the director came to me with this concept, and I still to this day don't understand it, but he's an award-winning director, so God bless him and I love him. But it, it's supposed to be a couple fighting and then her going out and all these things ensue. Honestly, I just had fun shooting it because we got to go out on the lake for a day and um, fish and hang out. But I don't know, you can see it. We have beautiful girls, we have fun stuff going on. We have boats blowing up and there you go. So it's the Fires Out video, check it out. Long legs make them long, lines get short When look at you, girl, they wave us through the door The bartender gives a heavy pull It's getting hot the way your hips wear that dress The heat from your lips takes my breath You melt the dance floor with every high heel step Putting fires out. Heads turning them long, necks go down a little quicker, making every guy in the house lose his cool heat up like summer in the south. The temperature is rising too fast, better cool you down before it gets bad. Won't you turn it on? There's no turning back. So the cool thing about this video is it actually has, um, we got the two couples and then we didn't really know them. We ended up casting two different, like completely separate people that actually ended up being very similar for the younger and the older couple. And uh, it just worked out that way. And, uh, and they were actually very similar as people, which was pretty cool. And we stumbled into a bunch of really cool situations that like, um, we were at, um, what was it? We were at Opry, Opry Mills Hotel and a guy had that Bentley and let us shoot some footage in there. And so that's one of those things where stars aligned and it came together. So this is the Just the Same video. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, there you go, DJ TV.
Don't hide your face from the morning sun. I love you just the same with no makeup on. Maybe simple, but it's true. Can't take my eyes off of you. And don't apologize for getting angry. It's alright sometimes if you take it out on me. I'm here no matter what. Come a time when you have your doubts, and it might cross your mind that we ain't working out. It kill me to see you go. Oh, 'cause I want you to know I'm gonna love you just the same, just the same. I'm always gonna feel this way, and no, it's never gonna change until the. DJ TV, Don, you wanted some questions answered? I, I really don't want to answer these, but all right, here we go. What's your favorite movie of all time and why? That's like saying, that's your favorite song, because really, what mood are you in? So, I like Almost Famous is one of my favorite movies, but that's because it's just a really cool road movie. Um, Blues Brothers is a great comedy musical. Um, you know, Deadpool is a great movie, but it's not my favorite, but I like it. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Number two, uh, what do you have going on this summer? Trying to stay cool. That's the main thing. <laughs> what, what do I do for fun outside of music? There's life outside of music? <sighs> I don't know.
know. <laughs> That's what I do for fun. Um, all right. Okay, who's my favorite? Santa, Easter, or the Easter Bunny, or Groundhog? None of the above. I dig the Tooth Fairy. Come on. Comes in, takes away a dead tooth, and gives you money. That's a good, that's, that's a good fairy. All right, last one. What character would you be in your favorite TV show? Now, okay, are we talking TV shows like the new modern TV shows that you basically binge watch? Yes. 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 For DJ TV, yeah, brother. <laughs> oh, a good one. Uh, DJ TV, we shot you a bunch of video, but it wasn't sideways. Hey, dog, man, I'm on vacation right now, and I'm trying to relax, and you're telling me to do work, dude? Right here, buddy. Right here, Don. You realize that's going on this TV show. Who's Don? <laughs> What's Don? <laughs> Hey, DJ TV's hey, number one, dude. Hey, man. DJ TV. I'm just telling you, bro. Hey, right over here. Shoot that camera. DJ TV's number one, Dom. <laughs> this is what you wanted. You wanted this. He wants it. I hope My you enjoy it. Monroe. He wants it. I no. sing country songs. My guitar player is pretty badass. <laughs> My guitar player is horrible. <laughs> He's horrible. Horrible. That's why I basically track everything, um, the entire band actually, except for except for our ukulele player. Our ukulele player, I don't track it all. Oh no, we totally track you. You didn't know that. You didn't know that. Wow. Okay, awkward moment. Sorry. Don't just. DJ TV, baby. I hate you, DJ TV. I, I love you so DJ much. TV. I love you, DJ TV. Stop watching this guy. Stop it. Stop no. watching this guy. Keep, keep watching. He did this to me. <laughs> hey, this is Rick Monroe. DJ TV, right? That's what you guys were watching. That's what's going on in here. You remember this guy, don't you? This is one of the most assholes over at DJ <laughs> TV again. <laughs> I can't dress them up. I can't take them anywhere. Hey, what am I gonna do? What with you them? guys are doing? So anyways, I do it different, but good luck with it. Why do you have to be a critic to everything? Well, that's just being honest. Oh, that's true. So anyways, Don, what's up, buddy? We're on our way to Broadfest, so we have some good footage for you coming up on Broadfest. Say hi to Andrew. What's going on? Say hi to Sam. What the fuck is going on here? I'm trying to try it. Sorry about the foul language. He said shit. There's a big difference. You can say shit on TV. This is going to be on TV? Yeah. Asshole? Oh, asshole. Oh, no, you can't do that together. You can put ass and you can say hole, but you well, can't say... No, but there no, but you... Comma, dude. No, you have to have a, a, a break. In no, if you can't... You can't use the F word, all right? You can say shit, I think. It depends. And shit. ass and hole should be separate. All right, well, the FCC let's agree to disagree, that. okay? You can quote me on that. Because <laughs> I ain't said shit. Hey, this is Rick Monroe, and here we are on DJ TV. Um, in honor of the fact that we're on our way to Milwaukee, we're going to do a new segment. Um, and it's uh, it's something that uh, it's the only thing this guy knows anything about. So we figured this would be a good segment called History of Indiana. Since Matt Dyer pretty much knows nothing except for about Indiana. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to him for our first installment of History of Indiana. Okay, hold on. So here's the thing. I know me and these DJ TV guys have been at odds in the past, but for once I'm gonna to try to give you guys some objective information about something that I know about, you should know about. So day one Indiana fact was did you know 
Well, I was going to go into a bunch of, you know, stuff like Indiana's the greatest state in the Union. They proved that back in the 60s. No, we actually need some, like, actual, some fact, actual, actual facts. history. God, I hate these people so much. Just give them something, man. Okay. I guess I will. Did you know that Connie Smith was born in Indiana? There you go. Wow. Fact Life number of one. Marty Stewart. There you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, just, just one more tidbit of why we're better than everybody else. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed your uh, your uh, fact about Indiana or history of Indiana. <laughs> All right, great minds drink alike. Dude, I don't even have to explain this to you, Don. You were there. You did the video. Why don't you actually tell people about the video? How's that, Don? It should be your job to tell people because you're the one who filmed it. No. Don actually did a bunch of footage, and um, yeah, I, I, he can actually explain it to you. But it did get banned from CMT, and um, see if you can figure out what scene actually got it banned. Huh? Contest? I smell it. All right. Watch Great Minds Drink Alike. Great Minds Drink, drink alike. alike. I think I'm drunk. It's too stuff. We're from Ashes to Do. And we're Hailstorm. Great Minds Drink Alike. Yeah. Drink yeah. Hey, this is Eric Church Band. Great, Great Minds, Minds Drink Alike. This one's called Great Minds Drink Alike. Walking in with his German friend Jägermeister. That captain took a swing at Jack. Evan Williams done half his back with his talk of friend but wiser. From the cornfields to the stadiums to this music hall. Raise up your glasses and toast to them all. Hot women, cold beer, Chevy trucks, and John Deere's. Everybody's hitching a ride. Trucks and John Deere's, everybody's hitching a ride. Down in gravel roads and dance halls, you know we know how to live it, y'all. Great minds drink a light. I said, Great minds are drinking tonight. Yeah, we're going to drink tonight. You right? Yeah, that's right. Friends, don't let friends drink alone. No, no, no.
Hey there, Jimmy from Boba Flex here. Do you like music? Do you like music that rocks? I know you do. Because you're not a tool. So come on, put the pedal to the metal with DJ TV. dark place, you know. I felt like the walls were, were closing in on me. Hardcore saved my life, bro. Hardcore saved my life. Hardcore saved my life. Hardcore music saved my life. I actually remember the exact moment Hardcore saved my life. Uh, I was up at 3 a.m. commenting on some thick chick's Instagram photos. Hardcore saved my life. You know, now I can let touring bands from all over the world stay in my basement. I mean, it floods, but hey, look, man, the Shit Palace is one of the last DIY venues in this city. I've been attacking people outside of venues for 35 years. Thanks to Hardcore, now I do it to fight racism. Hardcore gives me the strength to keep moving forward. Now I just put one foot in front of the other, just, you know, head walking on girls. Because of Hardcore, I'm actually an innovator. In safe spaces, without me, that totally wouldn't even be an issue. I've killed three racists because of hardcore, which makes my murder rate 75% accurate. Look, off the record, the shopkeeper, he had it coming. I've straight up narked on my friends for smoking a joint. I've turned three of my girlfriends straight edge. One of them's a lesbian. How's that for growing the scene, you know? That's diversity. Since Hardcore saved my life, I got my bassist writing career off the ground by inspiring him to write a long, detailed public apology on my behalf. Before Hardcore, I was drinking, smoking, and getting in brutal 30-on-one life-altering fights. Now, I don't drink, I don't smoke. Book six bands and borrow the touring band's gear. They have to have their stuff. Every weekend we go through this. For me, Hardcore is about giving back. I mean, whenever a girl's in a fight with her boyfriend, needs someone to talk to her, needs some alcohol, Coke. Hardcore taught me life's about baby steps, you know? Really quick ones, like pop, pop, pop. Maybe you get three or four heads deep before you eat shit. The only social justice warriors this scene needs is Crow and Bat. There's plenty of women on the bill. See, wouldn't you miss that if I was gone? I also think there should be more chicks on fest. You know, the real thick ones, you know, the kinky tumbler types. Yeah, like, you used to get stabbed in this neighborhood, you know? I feel like, like people forget that now. I did some of the stabbing. Look, if you're a Nazi, we're coming for you. We're not gonna check if you're a Nazi first. I've actually been able to use my vague post about almost killing myself to get some strange on tour. Thank you, Hardcore. Thanks, Hardcore. Thank you for saving my life, Hardcore. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Is there any chance I could buy, like, piss off one of you guys? Not like a fetish thing. It's like, I'm trying to get a job at UPS. Cocaine, cold, and whiskey shakes. Trying to drown my heart in. Trying to hide from this hangover, but that whiskey bottle has done run dry.